What is going on guys, it's Dakota from Decaldwell Photography and I am super stoked y'all, my package. My package finally came and we are gonna do an unboxing video of my brand new camera. Can y'all feel the energy through the camera? Cause I am so stoked to open this box up. I literally just ran back in here from a photo shoot that I just did and uh, grabbed the package on the front porch. So without further ado, man, we're gonna talk a little bit about what the camera is why I bought it, etc., and uh, the next steps for me in my new photography journey. So uh, let's roll that intro and get started. Spanning from middle of last year up until present day today, I've been falling more and more in love with the old film look, trying to replicate film type photos using my digital cameras, using my Sony, my Fuji cameras, and I really love doing that. It's been a lot of fun being able to just play around with film simulations or go inside a Lightroom or Capture One and really play around with the different type of film grain or presets that you create in order to replicate that film look. And it's really cool and all, but then I see other folks' photos like Mike Gray and Valandez, and I'm like, dude, these are badass. Like, these dudes are out here killing it, you know, with these film cameras, and I just told myself, I gotta, I gotta step into the game. I've been really scared, really, really timid to shoot on film, y'all. Um, I mean, one, I have my digital cameras, and they, I love them, they've been working for me since, but I really feel that if I wanna get that true film look, then I gotta, I gotta step my foot into the door of film, and we're gonna do that today. Damn, I'm like so excited, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to ramble during this video, but without further ado, drum roll please. I went ahead and purchased from KEH a Mamiya RZ672 Pro. Oh my God, yay! That, that's like when the video, when you're supposed to hear like the hand clap. Hold on, let's cue that. Okay, cool. But I purchased a Mamiya RZ672 Pro, and oh my God, I am super stoked. First off, shout out to KEH because I looked went on their website. I did a lot of research prior to this decision to hop into film, okay? Um, and I went on their website. I bought the camera, some film, and a lens to use as well. And man, uh, it shipped in less than a day or so. I, I ordered this thing on Sunday and I got it on Wednesday today here. So I think that's awesome. Um, shout out to them and their website. It's pretty cool. I uh, went in, uh, I was able to find everything I need. I love that they have listed on their site the different type of um, shape that their used gear is in. Uh, so it makes it a lot easier to kind of understand when you get it, what you're ordering to begin with. So let me go ahead and just talk a little bit about um, why I'm doing this, why I'm jumping into film itself, because I feel that's an important part of my story right now and where I'm going to eventually head to. My decision to go ahead and purchase a Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2 wasn't an easy one. I know there's a bunch of different film cameras out there like the Pentax, but I knew one that I wanted a medium format camera. I wanted that larger uh, six by seven uh, feel on my images. So the medium format was definitely the way to go because eventually I told myself if I switched from my digital full frame Sony's, I was going full medium format Fuji. So for right now, we're gonna work with what we got digital wise, but film, I knew I wanted a medium format film camera. And again, film is expensive. It's very expensive to get into. You know, the price that I could have paid for a film camera, I could have went and bought a new digital camera or a lens for my digital cameras, but that's not the point of this. The point of it was me learning something new. That's the big thing. I wanted to learn something new uh, to differentiate my work and also too just have fun with shooting. I've been trying to emulate so much the film look with my digital cameras. So being able now to purchase a film camera itself, um, it's a big step forward in the direction that I'm gonna be taking. I know about the film prices, I know about the the um, the developing prices of the film, you know, but I I, I am Full heartedly invested, as you see with the box right here. I'm full heartedly invested, I'm ready, and we're gonna dive into the box now and I'm gonna show you guys what content we got inside. All right, I'm done rambling. So I got my handy dandy box cutter right here and we're gonna go ahead and open this KEH box, all right? 100 day warranty, that is pretty cool. I'm so excited, I don't even know what area to start in. Damn, I'm, I'm botching this. Y'all, I've never done an unboxing video before, FYI, so 
Um, I'm nervous, but the point of it is just for content and to show you guys how excited I am about the gear. Let me close this because I don't want to go back and cut myself later on accident. All right, da, 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 da. I'm hoping that like when I open the box, like a bright light shines through. No. Ooh, okay. Bubble wrap. I'm gonna pop that later, that's fine. Let's see what we got up in here. Ooh, okay, what we got, what we got? We got some, ooh, look at this, look at this film, okay. Um, I'm also going to have to learn how to properly store film as well as I heard. Um, there's multiple ways, especially if you're trying to use it for over six months or so. So if you have, if you guys have any experience in the comments with storing film, please let me know, I'd appreciate it. I got some Portra 400, some Fujifilm Pro 400H. I actually got a few Portra 400 boxes. Jeez. I'm also waiting for the Kodak 200 to get here as well. 200 gold or gold 200, however you pronounce that. All right, what else we got right here? Okay, I am pretty sure that this pack is the film pack that I purchased for the Mamiya RZ6 Pro 2. So we're gonna pop those bad boys open. It's a lot of tape. It is securely wrapped. Thank you so much, KEH, because a lot of places that send stuff are not this secure, and I appreciate your attention to detail in terms of making sure that my product was secure on the way here. Ooh, cool. Come on. Ooh, cool beans. So yeah, this is the film back right here. Let me take it off the pack, y'all, my bad. The film back for the Mamiya RZ67 Pro 2. I think this is pretty dope. Flip it over here. All right, what else we got up in this box here? I got some Ilford black and white as well. Um, also guys too, if I am mispronouncing some of these names, I apologize in advance. I will learn the right terminology, but we're gonna try our best to pronounce those. I also heard that you can store black and white film a little bit differently than you can um, color. So you guys, again, you let me know. Uh, if you have any tips for me in the comments, I appreciate you ahead of time here. Trying to learn the ropes here. So I got a bunch of that and then, Another Fujifilm Pro 400H. I also heard that this was being discontinued. So um, if this is the brand, which I am pretty sure that it, that was getting discontinued by Fujifilm, uh, this is the Fuji Color Pro 400H. Um, I'm happy that I do have a couple rolls of this and I am excited to actually shoot on this. So I have to do something special if this is being discontinued. All right. Uh, what do we got here? This might be the lens, guys. Let's go ahead and oops, pop this bad boy open, see what we got going on. <laughs> you gotta imagine how I am at a Christmas time, trying to open these boxes. My boxes of presents that my wife gets me. I also like kind of don't want it to be like awkward silence while I do open some of these. Holy crap, this thing is hefty. So this is the lens that I went ahead and purchased from KEH here. Take this out the pack. This is the big boy for sure. So this is, and again, apologies if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, I will learn properly, but it is the Mamiya Secor 180 millimeter F 4.5 WN lens. Uh, and I went with this choice because I could not find the patented 110 lens that I've been seeing so much about. I believe it's a Mamiya 110 f2.8. So I got this one. I looked up on a uh, Flickr and a bunch of other different websites and saw some really awesome portraits that were used with this lens here. So um, I'm excited to be able to create with this and hopefully I soon get my hands on a Mamiya 110 f2.8 because you know, uh, I love my portraits. And I think either or, I'm gonna create some awesome stuff with this. I'm just super excited to dive in 
So if this was the second to last thing inside of the box here, then we know what the last piece is gonna be. So let me pop this in the protective little baggie right here, and then we'll go ahead and grab our camera body. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is, Jesus Christ. All right, yeah, that's it. That's all that's in there. All right, we know this is gonna be the camera body. So this is the cream of the crop, y'all. The thing we've been sitting here waiting for. Let me try to open this a little bit better than what I've been doing. Y'all, I am, I am excited, man. I don't know about y'all. I'm trying to be all pretty with this, man. I'm just gonna rip this shit open and be done, to be honest. I am so excited just to get this thing in my hand and use it. Again, I hope y'all can feel the excitement. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at this. Look at you. Let me get this out this bag. Hold up. Ooh, 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 look at this. This is so sexy, y'all. Look at this. Oh, and this is so clean too, man. I'm so, hey, shout out to the people that take care of your equipment. Whoever this was prior to me, um, you did a really good job. This thing looks extremely clean, uh, very well taken care of. And uh, I'm going to put this to use because, ooh, this looks so nice, y'all. And then I believe I purchased the waist level finder. Waist level viewfinder, excuse me. Yeah, look at this. So just imagine I could have it at my waist kind of looking through to get my focus in properly. Oh yeah, y'all, this is going to be some amazing stuff. I am so excited to use this gear. This looks sexy, I can't even lie. This is like Christmas day in, Christmas day in, what is this? March, April, April, yeah, it's April. So lastly, I'm going to attempt to kind of put it all together here and we're gonna call it one. I um, ended up getting one of these six volt Duracell batteries and we're gonna load that in this bad boy right now man you guys let me know in the comments how fast you guys can load your camera your film camera together is there a particular science to it or um, if you just have to have a bunch of practice with doing it because I am going to it's gonna be taking me a quite a bit of practice Oh, cool. I love how they actually have it listed on what side you should need to put the battery on. That is very helpful. We load that in here and get the little strap together. Pop that bad boy in here. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a second. Give me one second, y'all. It's going to take a, you know. Okay. All right. That battery's loaded up. Now we'll pop on the film back and the lens, you know, you should be reading manuals, but it'd be like, F the manual, I can do this myself. Y'all think that's why a lot of shit ends up breaking? My wife thinks so. But I think that if you have enough gumption to just jump in and try it yourself, that's all that matters. These little holes on the back, I know match up. I've done enough Lego building in my lifetime to know how this stuff works. It's just gonna take a second. Three hours later. And then I'm pretty sure I just locked that. Look at that, magic, magic. Who needs a manual, right? All right, last but least, we are gonna jump on our Mamiya lens and throw that bad boy on here. And grab it out the bag. And that should be, anybody should be able to load a lens on here, right? I think so, just match up the sections and go from there. Ooh, a little clicky clicky. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And now we have our finished product. What do you guys think? So thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, this video is gonna be special, especially looking back on this a couple years from now and really seeing what I was able to create using this beast of a device. So if you enjoyed the video guys, make sure you click that thumbs up and also smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming film content. I can say that now. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.